radical. Viewer discretion is advised. I'll be perfectly honest. Can, can I be honest with people? You know, I don't wake up every single day wanting to discuss these worthless piece of shit YouTubers. I don't. And it gets to be a certain point where you're like, how many years have I been discussing these worthless piece of shit YouTubers? You know? Now, car audio, I'd love to talk about some car audio because that's a, a true, definite passion of mine. But I don't know. You know, just being frank and honest here. You know, you just, you sometimes you get fucking tired of it, you know? You get fucking tired of it. Uh, where were we at? I don't even know the timestamps here. Gerard said it could be the end of the show. Oh, he's referring back to uh, the March upload where he could said it could be the end of the show. Well, that's a fucking lie. That's a fucking lie, Gerard, because there was nothing that happened to your channel in your trend lines. Okay? I direct people to his social blade. If anything, he got steadily more views and consistent views and everything. Nothing happened, basically. Nothing happened on the channel whatsoever. Uh, that was a crisis video. Now... The next thing we bring up, the next thing he brings up is the sponsorships. And he got more sponsorship opportunities. He basically told on himself and revealed that the whole reason he uploaded that was to get things like more sponsorship opportunities. To get more fan support. So, I mean, it's it's pretty easy to do this, Gerard, because you're kind of like, you're exposing yourself here. I don't know if you actually realize that, or maybe maybe you don't care. Maybe you just don't fucking care because, you know, you realize those crisis videos work every time you or other people, YouTubers, do a call to arms, a crisis video. It works, plain and simple. So I don't exactly know what this video right here is going to do to stop that. Fuck Gerard just might do another crisis video uh, next week. And then I'll talk about that, and then, uh, I don't know. It's like it's a fucking little circle jerk here. You talked about uh, you talked about merch, which is fine. I have no problem with you selling merch and everything. Uh, but there was no mention of that aromatherapy candle, the thousand dollar aromatherapy candle, which you can still fucking buy. You worthless piece of shit. I mean, anyone defending this guy? He's charging a thousand dollars from an aromatherapy candle right now. Then we get to the eight minute mark in here. I think this is what you all wanted me to discuss. He says he has a new P.O. box. He rarely ever talks about it. Uh, send me whatever you want. If you got games you want to donate. And then he gets to a big reveal, which is what I've been saying for years. He revealed that about half of his collection that you see behind him is donated. These game collectors are motherfucking frauds. Their collections are donated. These people are on YouTube to get game donations from their audience. He makes sure to mention, you know, the I love you at the end right there. I love you. You know, it's a conditional love is what it is. Gerard loves all of you as long as you're sending him your fucking games, as long as you're donating shit to him. That's what it is. That's what it is. Why do people come here and defend these worthless motherfuckers? And I call them worthless motherfuckers. Why do people keep coming here and defending them? That's why this gets so fucking stressful. Hey, Rick. Hey, Rick. Hey, Rick. Here's an upload. Here's a guy. You got to see this e-beggar. Talk about this e-beggar. And then I talk about it. And then you know what happens? They wind up getting more donations to their fucking P.O. box. You know, remember, uh, I had an upload earlier in the year called My Frustrations. Yeah, it comes. It comes and goes. You know, I feel like it's frustrating, you know, Here's Mike. I'll I'll do it like Gerard. You know, you don't see, but I have a sad face. I, I don't just things on the channel. I'm not sure. I just feel frustrated, and uh, this this may be the end of my critical satire because it just doesn't work. It just doesn't work. It doesn't seem to be working. So send things to my PO box. You know what it could be? Maybe I'm not as motivated because oh, I don't know. I'm not getting any donations. So how about everyone donate games to me to motivate me to talk about fucking e-beggars and shit like that? You know, I talk about lots of things here. I do. But I feel like I don't get the credit for really talking about a wide variety of things here. I feel like, and this is part of my honest frustration, it feels like I have all this potential to discuss all these different things. But sometimes those great uploads go under the radar because a lot of you just... 
just want me to talk about worthless neckbeard motherfuckers like this. And maybe that's harsh, but that is a fucking neckbeard, you know? I feel like I'm wasting my potential on this really vast open discussion channel because wasting time on worthless pieces of shit like this. I'm sorry. You know, I'm sorry. I can't be objective with worthless pieces of shit. I can't be. It's hard to be because I'm looking at this guy right now. I'm looking at the words coming out of his mouth, begging people to send stuff to his P.O. box, knowing full well how successful monetarily his YouTube channel has been, knowing full well that he could, he could afford to get on eBay and buy those fucking games. But he just needs to eBay his fucking audience. Okay? Do you all understand, ironically, my frustration here? And unlike Gerard, I'm frustrated because it feels like it's the same fucking song and dance. Nothing changes. Nothing changes whatsoever. But you know what? I guess I'll keep it up because I have a part of the audience here that enjoys this. You know? Way past the point where I have really enjoyed it, you know? So I bet you didn't expect this. Just some honesty. I'm an honest person. You know, times of 2019, oh man, I was really, really happy and really psyched, you know. I woke up and uh, I would check the YouTube and people were like, hey, hey, Rick, Rick, talk about this person, talk about that person. Okay, sure, sure thing, we'll do. But then, you know, towards the end of 2020, I'm like, what the fuck is going on here? You know, same song and dance, same thing happens over and over again. And and I don't know, you get, you get caught into this like cycle to where... You know, you wake up and you don't know what year it is because you've just been doing the same thing over and over again. And then becomes it weirdly becomes almost like a job, like you're doing the same things every single day. And you're like, well, this is just not fun. And YouTube, what I've always preached, YouTube should be fun. OK, I'm not the guy that really every day finds fun in talking about worthless pieces of shit.